Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make two cube plots. First, you need to make sure you have all of your data uploaded into R. Also, make sure you have your packages downloaded that you are to use. So once all your data is loaded, as you can see, I uploaded all my variables and it was calculating all the data. We're going to open up a notepad. And we want to make four different plots and have them all in one screen. So in order to do this, we're going to make do the par function equals c and one comma four. That tells us we're going to have one row and four columns, which is our four different graphs. So we're going to do qq norm, and this is for all edits period. And we just want this first graph title to be wall data. Oh, don't forget your equal sign. And both axes, the x axis, so we'll type x lab equals just quotes and nothing in it. We don't want to label these x. In your parentheses, you're going to add a semicolon and write qq line and the same all edits period. Now what up you're going to do is you're going to copy this and we actually oh, copy this first one and then we are going to paste it three more times. So we want our raw data. Now we're going to take this one and Previously, we have already created, we want to make transformations. We're going to do a squared transformation, a log transformation, and an inverse. So here we're going to add the SQ and change our raw title to squared. But don't forget at the end, you also need to change down here to SQ. We're going to do the LN, the log. And these here, the main are just our types. And our last one, we are going to do the inverse. Now I want you to copy and paste what you've just put in your notepad into R. And then don't forget to hit enter. And you here you can see we have our four plots. I'm just going to expand this to make it a little easier. Now QQ plots are the probability plot, which allows us to compare two probability distributions by plotting them against each other. So the diagonal line in all these are the normal distribution that we then plot our other information against our normal distribution. We do transformations because we a lot of the data is spread out on a large scope and includes outliers. So we want to transform them in order to find a normal distribution. If you look at these three, you can see the, these four. The log distribution actually shows the line of best fit and during this period it has the closest to the normal distribution. It is closest to the line, and it is the graph that deviates the least from the line. Therefore, when looking at these different ones, the log would be the best function to use. 